Disneyland Sweethearts Night is back this year to bring some of the rarest Disney characters. There were some characters coming back and some that have never been seen at Disneyland. We would like to thank Pixie Vacations for sponsoring this video. Visit your favorite Disney park with their help by working with a Pixie completely free. Link in the description. Chip, Dale, and Clarice. Chip and Dale are some of the most common characters that you can see at the parks. You can usually see them walking around Main Street at Disneyland or in Buena Vista Street at California Adventure. The only Disney resort where they are more rare is Shanghai Disney, but at the rest of the parks, they are usually seen meeting guests, and with lots of different outfits also. Just take a look at these Ewok costumes or the ghost ones. But while they are familiar characters, their companion during Sweethearts Night this year was not. Clarice's first appearance was, believe it or not, in 19. 55 at Disneyland's opening, and she was present at the park until disappearing in the early 1960s. She has been seen sporadically at U.S. parks since then, with some appearances at Toontown in Disneyland just before it closed for refurbishment. She became a very popular character in Japan and Paris, so she appears more frequently at those parks as a meet and greet and during shows and parades. But Clarice returned to Disneyland, and Chip and Dale were there, ready to accompany her during the Sweethearts Night this year. The three of them could be seen in Frontierland, in front of the Golden Horseshoe, and they were having a blast saying hi to everyone who wanted to meet them. Big Al We have explored the Country Bear Jamboree in great detail, from its fascinating history to its hidden secrets and even its abandoned animatronics. Although this attraction is no longer in Disneyland, it is fortunate that these beloved characters still live on. They can be found in the form of meet and greets with some of the most popular characters being Wendell, Liverlips, Shaker, and Big Al. These beloved bears have made numerous appearances in Disney parks, with one of their most memorable performances being in the Disneyland sing-alongs. They are often seen in parades and special events and have become highly sought-after characters. One of the biggest highlights in Sweethearts Night this year was the inclusion of Big Al, who can be found in Critter Country near Splash Mountain. This bear is one of the funniest experiences you can have at the park, and his meet-and-greet is one of the most entertaining at the event. Big Al can be seen making jokes, getting into mischief, and making the crowd laugh with his antics. But before we continue, we would like you to ask to subscribe to our channel if you love rare characters. Jafar We've covered Jafar several times in our videos and established that Jafar is not such a rare character. Since his debut, he's appeared many times at the park in parades, shows, and meet and greets. But today, we're going to be talking about the different ways that Jafar has been seen at the parks. So let's start with Snake Jafar. Snake Jafar makes regular appearances in Hollywood Studios' Phantasmic, where Jafar has a much bigger role. Instead of Ka, who we see at Disneyland Phantasmic, we get to see Jafar turn himself into a huge and scary snake in an attempt to defeat Mickey. Moving on to Jafar as a face character instead of the usual atmosphere character we are used to seeing. There were two occasions where we got to see him, and both occasions were shows. One of them was the Disney's Aladdin A Musical Spectacular show at California Adventure which closed back in 2016. And the other one was The Villains Tonight Show, a live stage show on board the Disney Magic and Disney Dream cruise ships that closed in 2017. This year during Sweetheart's Night, he made a surprise appearance. He made a dramatic entrance during the Royal Ball. Lightning and thunder disrupted the ball, and a voice could be heard from the back of the dance area. Quickly, everyone in the area turned around only to see Jafar himself barging in on the ball. He talked to guests for a bit and then allowed the ball to continue. This was a very fun surprise during the event event, and we would love to see more of Jafar as a face character. Mulan and Shang Mulan took a break from the Lunar New Year celebrations next door in California Adventure and brought Lee Shang along with her to meet guests during Sweethearts Night. We loved seeing them both because their appearances at the parks together are pretty rare. Mulan is usually found at the China Pavilion at Epcot, Hong Kong Disney, and Shanghai Disney for regular meet and greets. She also frequently appears at Disneyland, meeting guests in Main Street and during the Lunar New Year celebrations at California Adventure, where she appears with Mushu. We've also seen her dressed as Ping in several special events, like last year's Oogie Boogie Bash. But Shang is such a rare character to see. He has mostly appeared during special events like the DVC Moonlight Magic events, the Disney Dreamers Everywhere event at Disneyland Paris, and the Golden Mickey show at Hong Kong Disney. During the 2020 Sweethearts Night event, Mulan and Shang appeared, and they returned for the event this year. This time, they could be seen meeting guests near Pixie Hollow, switching with another famous and rare Disney couple, Belle and Beast. Just as with Mulan and Shang, the rarest part of this encounter is seeing this couple together for the meet and greet. Belle is not a very rare character. 
She appears at almost every park's fantasy land and also several parades and shows. She has several looks. We've seen her wearing her blue town dress, the gold princess ball gown, and even some winter looks from the Beauty and the Beast and Enchanted Christmas movie. The Beast makes less frequent appearances at the parks than Belle. He's usually found at the Be Our Guest restaurant during dinner time and special events, but occasionally appears at the France Pavilion in Epcot. He also makes sporadic appearances in Fantasyland at the other parks and is often seen during parades and shows. This year is not the first time that Belle and Beast have appeared during Sweetheart's Night, but surprisingly in 2020, it was not Beast who appeared with Belle, but Prince Adam. The prince has appeared at several special events and can sometimes be seen at Disneyland Paris, but it's rare to see him out and about. In this year's event, Belle and Beast could be found in Fantasyland near the Red Rose Tavern, and Belle was seen wearing a new version of her beautiful gold dress. They switch places every once in a while with Gaston, who also met guests in this area during the event. Esmeralda and Phoebus Probably the biggest surprise of all during this year's event was the appearance of Esmeralda and Phoebus. Many of us love the Hunchback of Notre Dame and would love to see more of these characters at the parks. When the movie first came out, all of them could be seen meeting guests. But as time went by and other movies came out, these characters became less popular among guests. Esmeralda appeared once in a while at Tokyo Disney and sometimes could also be seen at Disneyland Paris. But usually when she appears, she is accompanied by Clopin, not Captain Phoebus. But of course, Phoebus is very rare. He makes little to no appearances at the parks, with a surprise special appearance in 2015 at the France Pavilion in Epcot, and of course, during special events. Just take a look at this group of characters together. As for Esmeralda and Phoebus appearing together as a couple, they have been seen at many special events. They appeared during the 20 Years of Magic event at Disneyland Paris, the DVC Moonlight Magic event of 2020, and the Run Disney Marathon events. It is pretty rare to see either of them and almost impossible to see them together. So it was a huge surprise when we got to see them during Sweetheart's Night. They made their Disneyland debut this year in the Fantasy Fair area of Fantasyland, where many of you might know, we can find Clopin's music box. This was an adorable detail, and they really fit their surroundings perfectly. They switched places from time to time with Aurora and Philip, who were also at the event meeting guests. We loved seeing both of these couples and hope they can come back next year. Meg and Hercules Now we've arrived at some characters that returned from last year's event, but this doesn't take away from how great it is seeing them again at the parks. Hercules and Meg made a stunning appearance for the third time at the event. While not as rare as Hercules, Meg is less frequently seen than some classic Disney characters. She's made appearances at Disney parks, including DVC Moonlight Magic and 20 Years of Magic Celebrations. She was also at 2021's Oogie Boogie Bash and was back at Sweetheart's Night this year, looking stunning. Hercules has appeared less than Meg at the parks. He first appeared at Disney's Hollywood Studios in 1997 with the Hercules Zero to Hero Victory Parade. Over the years, he's become exclusive for special events like DVC Moonlight Magic and appearances at Tokyo Disney Sea. He appeared at last year's Oogie Boogie Bash, and his appearance at last year's Sweetheart's Night was a real treat for fans who thought they'd never see him again. And this year, he was back, looking as awesome and powerful as ever. We were thrilled to see both Meg and Hercules back at Sweetheart's Night for a third time, and we honestly hope that they keep coming back for future events. Snow White and Prince as Disney's first princess, Snow White has been a staple at the parks, appearing in countless events, parades, shows, and meet and greets. But just as last year, she appears on this list because of her dress. While her dresses have undergone some minor changes over the years, there hasn't been a significant overhaul to her costume until last year's Sweetheart Night. At this special event, Snow White was spotted greeting guests at her wishing well in a stunning peasant dress, a first for the parks. She was also accompanied by the prince, making this a rare opportunity to see them both together. This dress, made from what seems to be rags, is a breathtaking sight to see. We love to see this update on her wardrobe. The dress is stunning, and the huge clogs are so fun and cute. This year, Snow White and the Prince came back. They were also seen near the Wishing Well, and sometimes they took strolls through Fantasyland. It is always amazing to see new clothes on these beloved characters. Being able to see Snow White and the Prince together just added to the magic of the moment. Bernard and Bianca, Tiana and Naveen, Stitch and Angel 
We've compiled these couples in one because they have also appeared in almost every Sweethearts Night event. But that doesn't make them less rare. Miss Bianca and Bernard from The Rescuers are very rare at US parks and can only be found regularly in Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea. But we've seen them at several special events, including, of course, Sweethearts Night. They were there at last year's event, and they came back this year and are as cute as ever. They can be seen in New Orleans Square, switching with our next couple, Tiana and Naveen. These characters are some of the most beloved ones recently, and they fit perfectly in this area. They make regular appearances at Disneyland and have also been seen at special events and parades. During the event, guests can look forward to seeing Tiana and Naveen wearing their rare jazzy costumes, which they have only worn a few times before. The last couple on this list are Stitch and Angel. Stitch might be more regular making appearances at Tomorrowland, but Angel is a super rare character in the US parks, although she makes regular appearances in Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea. They can both be seen in Tomorrowland during the event. Mary Poppins and Bert. And finally, we wanted to mention these two characters that we love. The practically perfect nanny and her companion Bert are not considered rare characters, as they can be found regularly at Disneyland, as well as at Disneyland Paris and Tokyo Disneyland. While Bert may be harder to find in Walt Disney World, Mary can be met nearly always in Liberty Square or the United Kingdom at Epcot. The only places they are truly rare are at Shanghai Disney and Hong Kong, where they do not appear at all. They're almost always seen wearing their beautiful, jolly holiday outfits during parades, shows, and when they're out meeting guests. However, during last year's Disneyland Sweetheart Night event, Mary was spotted wearing her traveling outfit and Bert appeared as a chimney sweep which is a departure from their regular Jolly Holiday outfits. These characters have worn these outfits before, but only a few times, making it a unique and exciting treat for Disney fans to see them in different costumes. In 2023's Disneyland Sweetheart Night, they have returned to wearing their regular Jolly Holiday outfits. But that doesn't make their appearance any less special for Disney fans, and we loved seeing them during the event. Which of these characters would you like to visit? We loved seeing Esmeralda and Phoebus. 